to it's try very to easy for Angel of Serenity to come down in turn five, yeah. right? Just from the if you get a turn five Nykthos. But it looks like we've come into the wrong side of the game here for Cody Cola. Uh, Martin Goldman cursed is just in a commanding position already up a game. Yeah, on the other side we have classic blue white control. And from the looks of it, with an awful lot of everything. He's got a life advantage, he's up a game, he's got an Elspeth, he's got Mutavault, he's got a lot of tokens. Lots of cards in hand, a good mix. And uh, the white blue devotion player appears to currently not really have anything going. We can probably safely assume that a large revelation was resolved at some point in this game. Yeah. Yeah, or at the very least, two small ones. Yeah. <laughs> we are now on Martin's turn here. Martin, not scared of the Spear of Heliod, sends in all five of his tokens. Pulses Elspeth once again. Now, this white-blue Devotion deck doesn't actually have any Supreme Verdicts or any Sweepers beyond Detention Sphere, right? Yeah, a couple spot removal spells with... You know, he like might have boarded in Cyclonic Rift, I guess. But he's not going to have Verdict after board against blue-white, right? Right. And now here's a enormous revelation at the end of, of Cody's turn here. Or perhaps in response to the Soldier of the Pantheon, who... The one life probably not making oh, yeah. a huge difference here. <laughs> this is for literal DI. Yeah. Nine? Is this a Sphinx for nine? It is. Brutal. I mean, I know that you love a cruel to me, but this has to feel excessive even by your standards. I mean, <laughs> you would think that I would love Sphinx's Revelation, but it's not my favorite. It cheapens the whole thing. Oh, sure. Cruel to is like, requires great investment, great risk. Yep. You're tapping out on your own turn takes a lot of colored mana of particular types, takes you down a certain path. And the upside is, when Cruel Ultimatum is powerful, it means the game ends. Yeah. When Sphinx's Revelation is powerful, it means the game proceeds. Yeah, plus the whole, like, Sphinx for two type of stuff also, you oh, know? Yeah. And it's just disappointing because Sphinx's Revelation lines up with the Tension Sphere and Supreme Verdict, which heavily, heavily constricts your options for how to play blue. Azorius Charm as well, that's a piece of that yep, puzzle too. Absolutely. And then also, obviously, the twin titans of Jace and Elspeth. That's Whereas Cruel Ultimatum, it went face-to-face -face where it's like, oh, Cruel Ultimatum's legal, but it doesn't, you can't play it with Wrath of God. Right. And there is a concession from Cody Cole. Martin Goldman cursed, moves to 5-1 and one with blue-white control. Yeah, I mean, these blue-white control decks are part of the reason why devotion decks have been, uh, or, you know, like blue devotion decks and white devotion decks have been uh, not doing that well lately. I also think it's a, re uh, a really large part of the reason that